sons, Brendan and Ryan Zaremba, were injured, but Megan suffered the worst. Uh, she suffered uh, major lacerations to her face, her ear was almost torn off, her arm was broken, and her jaw was broken. But more important than that, Megan suffered a se severe traumatic brain injury. Uh, we took her to Sick Children's Hospital here in Toronto, and she was in the operating room for 11 hours. Told that when she, if I was lucky enough that she would come out, she would be a vegetable. She would not be able to dress herself, speak, uh, do any of the things that you and I take for granted. If if she survived, I was told to prepare for her funeral. Um, luckily, the doctors there and I did not give up. And at the end of three months, she walked out in, with a walker down to the emergency room and said goodbye to all the nurses and the doctors who believed they would never see her alive. During this time, Megan had a great deal of difficulty adjusting uh, for various reasons. I mean, obviously, uh, her injury, but people wouldn't accept her and things like that. Um, she became very lost, very bored, and didn't know what to do with herself. At that time, I began to look around for something that would keep her occupied, and we found Mary and Tisho's Music Academy when she was 17. 17. Seventeen years old when I started in tea shows in the basement of their home. Over the course of the past fourteen years, I have taken vocal, piano, flute, theory, etc. During this time, I was treated with dignity and respect, and was told that I could do anything I put my mind to. I truly believe, in my heart of hearts, that music was a catalyst that opened my mind to and soul to how wonderful life could be, despite setbacks with music in it. Um, one of the dreams that Meg and I have had for quite a long time, and we've decided to put this into fruition, is we are opening up a school within the Music Academy. We're going to have a room, and this room is going to be called the Megan Zaremba Music Room. And it is going to be dedicated only to individuals who have disabilities. Any disability, and of any age, young, old, middle-aged, doesn't matter. But always learn. 